Hello guys, welcome to day number 26. So today we will start with this problem and that is gonna be very interesting. Actually, we will take these two problems today, ring and thermostat. Ring is a little bit simpler, but thermostat problem is a little bit in higher level or not in higher level, but yeah, you need to be very sincere to solve it. Okay, so, but before I start, you know the drill, right? You need to like the video and then we only we can start. Okay, so here is the statement. Suppose you are designing a circuit to control a cell phone ring, right? So what is happening in our cell phone? Anytime anybody, any friend call you, right? So if anybody call me, and one thing is very important, see, uh, this type of question, anytime you do, first task is to identify the input part, input side, and the output side. Because then only we can develop the truth table, right? And truth table is... Uh, right is the second step first step understanding the problem second step is a truth table and then if needed then the kmap right so that's why you need to understand the input side first in hdl one thing is happening and that is they always they are giving us a module description and in the module description what they are doing they are giving you what are the input what are the output so if you just scroll down go down you will find out what is the input what are the output but i will strongly suggest you uh, when you come here uh, for this problem, for thermostat and probably for the other problem, don't scroll down and just try to see what are the input, what are the, what are the output. First, from your side, try to be convinced that, hey, these are my input side and these are the reaction of input, right? Okay. So here they are say, telling us that anytime phone ring, so ring is the input for sure. So anytime phone is ringing, your circuit must either turn on a ringer, like ringtone or it should turn on the motor for vibrations right uh, and here the constraint is that both the two things should not turn on at the same time in our mobile phone we have that we can ring it vibrate in the same time but this is their condition this is their uh, constraint and we need to follow that right because they are paying the money uh, to us so we need to follow them okay so you just understand the problem so after understanding the problem what we can do we that we have decided what are our input part and what are our output part so in our input part for sure ring will come right and in our output part because we we want the reaction because of input and reaction will take place into the variable which will be in the output mode so here this motor and they have written here but most of the time we like they don't tell us in the real life scenario so motor or if i write it with the m it is your output part so it should be zero or one and the ringer again they have mentioned his output here but in real life scenario you won't find this liberty okay so ringer don't be confused with ring and ringer ring is like an incoming call is coming or not and a motor and ringer are the action okay anything any more input we have yeah we have this input and that is the vibration mode so i am writing it with v after that input are done then a huge task is done actually and then what we'll do we'll just uh, write all the combination which are possible using these two input so we know we have only four combinations right and then you need to fill up this one now tell me one thing if you don't have any call then will you ring your ringer or will you vibrate your vibration no phone is not working like that in the statement also they have said that one that only if ring is, is coming so th that means anytime my ring side is zero for sure regardless of anything i can directly put zero zero here right now if i get a ring from my best friend and at the same time my vibration mode is zero which imply i just use it as a ringer i will enable my ringer and my motor will be at zero state yet and anytime i got a call from my second best friend and if the vibration is on as like then then i'll close my ringer uh, yeah ringer and i'll enable my motor and in the question they have said somewhere that both ringer and motor should not activated at the same time and the same thing we are maintaining here when ringer is on motor is off when motor is on ringer is off now do you think we have any necessary to uh, use kmap here no two input variable only so anyway we can directly write it down 
and also we have only one here so if we put it in inside the kmap also then also we'll get the same result so from here we can say that hey the ring ring output is equal to this one so it is your ring ring should be true and your and your vibration should be false negotiation of false and for the other case uh, your motor so for here both need to be true so ring and the motor right and why and why not or because both things need to be true it's not like if ring is true or i i hope you are getting this one right uh, yeah if you are not it's all okay it's a basic, very basic problem but still if you're not getting why and why or then comment it down for sure i'll make a video on it for sure because it's a basic problem and we need to take a uh, huge respect for those basic problem because only the issue with the basics only which hinder us actually or which obstruct us to go to advanced level so that's why we need to uh, address all the basic problem never be hesitated of telling that you don't know it if you are hesitating then comment as anonymous no issue but i'll make a video if you one person also have this issue that hey why why and why not or why not XOR? <laughs> okay so yeah i hope yeah okay so we have already solved the problem actually uh, that's the task only but still to show you that we are doing this perfectly uh, we will do it here and another thing you might be uh, thinking of yourself that hey in Verilog we have a if else statement right so we can e solve it using an if else statement also and probably with if else it might be a little bit easier because with if else it will be something like English like if ring and there then do that if but but the thing is that uh, if else because this will result a combination circuit only the combinations of different gates so it's better to think like a designer and not like a programmer because if else those things are available in Verilog but those are for actually higher level or for de designing a complex thing for designing a simple logic like that for sure it's better to use our designer int int intent actually they have mentioned it here like what differences are there and give a read it's a good read here and also in the question they have said somewhere that please use the assign statement uh, okay yeah somewhere they have written so that's why i'm just obeying them i i, I have used your assign statement right and for if else we need to use our procedural blocks our code will become little more line will need to be written right so to make it effective efficient uh, assign is the best way to do it and let me submit and prove that yeah we are doing perfectly well and see we got the success right